Welcome to NEOS! Let me show you why NEOS is an awesome choice for your next web project and why it's loved by so many developers and customers worldwide. NEOS makes working with content easy. Instead of filling forms and clicking submit buttons in some backend, when you want to change some content in NEOS, all you need to do is click where you want to make change and actually make the change. No need to fiddle around with forms or preview modes. It's also extremely easy to add more content to your site. Let's scroll down so we see the full content of our page and add another headline after this paragraph of text. I click the little plus button on top and NEOS displays a pop-up with all the available content types. NEOS comes with a bunch of predefined content types, which can of course be changed and removed if you don't need them. I'm selecting headline from the menu and just change the text to my new headline. For more editing options, I need to leave the distraction-free editing mode, which I can do by clicking this little button on the top right. This displays the full NEOS backend UI. And if I want to make this headline smaller, all I need to do is select headline 5 from the context menu on top. Let's add an image to our site. I click the little plus button again and select image from the pop-up menu. To actually select an image, we need the inspector which we can show by clicking this little toggle button on the right side. It allows me to pick an image from the NEOS Asset Gallery. I'm going to select this cute little quokka and just click Apply to make the change appear in my content. Now, the changes I've just made are not visible to our website visitors yet. In order to make them visible, I can click the Publish button on the top right. This publishes the changes to the live website and they are visible for end users which I can see by clicking the preview button on the top right. Let's go back to our NEOS backend and have another look on the UI. On the left, we can see the page tree, which displays all the pages of my website. It can be searched by entering a search term here, and it can be filtered by page type by selecting one from the drop-down menu. If I want to display only chapters, I select chapter here, and I can also remove the filter again. Clicking on a document in the tree takes me to the appropriate page. And by clicking on home, I get back again. Content can, of course, also be reordered. I can do this on the structure overview of the current page. If I decide that the image should go above the headline, I can simply select it and drag it to where I want it to go. If I drop it here, it's placed above the headline instead of below it. And if I want to remove it again, all I need to do is click the little trash bar on top. Of course, Neo supports maintaining your content in multiple languages. Let's use the language toggle menu on top and select German, and Neos will display the German version of our site. Let's go back to English though and translate a new page which doesn't have a German version yet. If I select German here, Neos notices that there's no German version yet and asks me whether it should create an empty new page or copy the existing content. Let's take over the existing content to the German version and translate it. Let's publish these changes and go back to the English version of our website by selecting Home and selecting English from the language toggle menu. To support more complex editing workflows, NEO supports creating so-called workspaces. A workspace is basically just a set of changes, which you can work on until they're ready to go live. Workspaces can be visible to all editors or restricted to a certain user group, which makes them very flexible tools to manage major content changes or reflect editing workflows in your team. To change the workspace, I click the little button on the top right and select Relaunch from the drop-down menu. As you can see, the content in my relaunch workspace is slightly different from the one in the main page. And if I make a change here, it's not visible yet on my live website, even if I publish it. As you can see, the button on top says publish to relaunch instead of publish to live now. Once I decide that I'm happy with this version of the content and I want it to publish to live, I go to workspaces in the main menu. Here, I can review all the changes that I've made and NEOS displays me exactly what has changed between the currently live version and the version in my workspace. I can choose to discard all changes or individual changes, 
or accept all changes and push them to life, which I'm doing now. If I go back to the content area and switch to the live workspace, you can see that the content that was in relaunch before is now also in the live workspace. And that means it's visible to my customers on the live website. To make life even easier for the editors, NEOS supports multiple edit or preview modes, which allow you to preview a website's content, for example, as a print version. If I switch back to the in-place editing, I'm back in my normal editing mode. This concludes my little round trip through the features of NEOS. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any additional questions, feel free to get in touch with us on the NEOS forum or via Slack. Thank you.